used to say when we were kids. I've been holding it in for years. Cowabunga! On second thought, maybe we'll just wait until the next reboot, adaptation, or sequel. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie trailers that made fans rage quit. He will need you. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at movie trailers that inspired disappointment, anger, or straight-up hate from a notable portion of viewers. In order to be considered, the trailers need to be for films involving an established franchise or characters. So the Emoji Movie need not apply, since there was no existing fan base, no matter how much people hated the trailer. Son, <laughs> please tell me you weren't laughing just now. Number 10. Aladdin When the first teaser dropped for Aladdin, people were cautiously optimistic. Disney wasn't giving much away, but the tone and beautiful setting seemed promising. Then we got a special look in early February of 2019, which finally gave the people what they wanted, a proper look at Will Smith as Genie. Suffice it to say, it did not go over well. People smashed the dislike button on YouTube, reacting so badly that quite frankly some folks were ready to call this film dead on arrival. You really don't know who I am. Genie, wishes, lamp, none of that ringing a bell. Disney has since dropped a proper trailer. And with a better look, many fans have come around on the genie issue. Of course, now everyone finds themselves distracted and confused by the young and noticeably hot Jafar. I can make you rich. Number 9. Warcraft We have had peace in these lands for many years now, but one of our villages burned tonight. Film is a visual medium, but audio is an essential part of the puzzle, one that's often underappreciated. The quickest way to make people take note of the sound editing score or soundtrack, though? Make a mistake. It was hard to fault the CGI on display in the Warcraft trailer, and the scale of the action looked appropriately epic. Sure, the story felt lacking, but that's hardly enough to sink a film. So why were fans so pissed? The music. Who thought it would be a good idea to pair this epic fantasy world with dubstep? To many fans, it was a slap in the face, and a sign that someone wasn't taking this film seriously. Be smarter. Number 8. Star Trek Beyond Well, at least I won't die alone. Since we're already on the subject of musical mistakes, let's talk about the marketing blunder that was the trailer for Star Trek Beyond. Regardless of whether or not you appreciate his contributions to the genre, there's no denying J.J. Abrams' sci-fi cred. Justin Lin, however, as an action director best known for his work in the Fast and the Furious franchise, had something to prove when he took the reins. And our first taste, a trailer that made the film look like the Fast and the Furious in space. The crew of the USS Enterprise were indeed venturing into a new frontier. It was just one that many did not want to see them explore. Uh, uh, okay, let's never do that again. Number 7. Catwoman What the hell is wrong with you, Phillips? Your incompetence is staggering. The early 2000s was a confusing time for comic book movies. Spider-Man and the X-Men were doing incredible things on the big screen. Unfortunately, it was also around this time that we got Daredevil, Elektra, and Fantastic Four. So yeah, a pretty mixed bag. While many of these films were venturing into uncharted territory, Catwoman had appeared on the big screen before, and left a lasting impression. So really, Catwoman starring Halle Berry, who was at the top of her game at the time, seemed like it had real potential. Unfortunately not. This trailer was as honest as they come. And by that, we mean that it was woefully lackluster advertising for a similarly disappointing film. Looking back on it now, dying was the best thing that ever happened to me. Number 6. Batman vs Superman – Dawn of Justice Who's that? You must be new. What can we say? Warner Brothers and DC sure know how not to sell them. A common complaint about trailers is that they often give too much away, sometimes major twists, or all the key plot points from A to Z. This is Zack Snyder we're talking about, so naturally this trailer included plenty of epic moments and shots to get people pumped. Unfortunately, around the two minute mark, things took a sharp left turn into spoiler town. The media had a field day, accusing WB of giving away all the best and biggest surprises, including Doomsday. Of course, it didn't help that many fans also found the design for Doomsday underwhelming. What have you done? No 
Number five, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. People want justice restored to this world. While the original trilogy was critically panned, it has an important place in the hearts of fans and pop culture history. As such, the news that the Turtles were returning to the big screen had people feeling hopeful. That is, until the trailers dropped. The first teaser hardly had any turtles in it, and when they did appear, the CGI and character design left much to be desired. Sadly, the more we saw of them, the worse it got. The Ninja Turtles have always been silly and over the top, but in these trailers, our adolescent crime fighters were downright grating. Armed with dated and awkward jokes that failed to generate laughs, these weren't the turtles that fans were hoping for. I'm sorry, that came across super creepy, okay? That's... <laughs> we will find you, though. <sighs> Number 4. The Last Airbender I knew you were real. I always knew you returned. They say that video game adaptations are cursed, but live-action versions of animated series don't fare much better. M. Night Shyamalan's The Last Airbender is a classic case in point. One of the most glaring problems when the trailers dropped was the whitewashed cast. The tone was also off, and while world-building and budget were there, the dialogue and acting were not. It felt like the movie was only capable of moving forward through the use of dramatic voiceover narration. You are the only one who can bring balance to a world at war. Paramount kept hitting us with trailers, but each subsequent one just made the fan response worse. Avatar The Last Airbender deserved better. There are reasons each of us are born. We have to find those reasons. Number 3. Venom I'm a reporter. I follow people that do not want to be followed. A third act villain like Doomsday is a twist best reserved for the theater. The titular character in costume, however, that's something that people expect to see in the very first teaser. Because Eddie Brock, intrepid but troubled reporter on the run, does not make for a particularly interesting or compelling film. And yet, that's exactly what people got in the first trailer for Venom, which left it feeling like a half-baked action thriller. As bad as the lack of symbiote was, Fans soon found themselves almost wishing Sony would take the symbiote back after the next trailer. Venom looked great, but the pronunciation of the word symbiote was painful. Thankfully, Sony got the memo and fixed it. We call them symbiotes. Number 2. Terminator Genesis John, you can do this. On second thought, maybe we should stop complaining about the Doomsday spoiler. Because really, compared to this, it's nothing. For the record, taking the savior of humanity and the main focus of a franchise and turning him into the enemy, that's a bad idea in any franchise. People were always going to be pissed about what screenwriters Leda Caligridis and Patrick Lussier had cooked up for John Connor in this film. But taking that already upsetting bombshell of a twist and detonating it in the trailer? For many fans, it was enough to just skip seeing the movie altogether. Terminator Genesis was basically a crash course in how not to market a film. What have they done to my son? Survival is what you taught me. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some dishonorable mentions. Bundle up, boys. There's a storm coming. Kill the heroes! Oh my god. You're internet famous. That's like the second best thing to being actually famous. I'm Jem. <laughs> I'M ON YOUR SIDE! Sorry! My bad. You're dead. This is a joke. Hilarious. <laughs> hey, Hicks! What happened to your face? <sighs> Cut myself shaving. What happened to yours? Number 1. Ghostbusters My name is Aaron Gilbert, Doctor of Particle Physics. <laughs> A vocal group of people wrote this film off as soon as it was revealed it would star an all-female cast. But there were much better valid reasons to be disappointed by the trailer for 2016's Ghostbusters. Even fans hoping to like the film commented that the comedy seemed formulaic and unworthy of the original. Uh, you didn't disclose that the vehicle was going to be a hearse. It's a Cadillac! Given the talented cast and high expectations for director Paul Feig after Bridesmaids knocks it out of the park, the disappointment was especially sharp. The trailer also blurred the lines between reboot and sequel, making the film's identity come across as unfocused and fueling the argument that it was just a cash grab. The hat is too much, right? Is it the wig or the hat? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.